what's up guys time to show you a watch so uh, this watch is for my buddy Lynn he wanted a uh, my other buddy Kevin and his buddy Kevin um, got a charcoal build from me a while back slightly different than this so we did another charcoal build, the last charcoal dial I have like this. So, let's set this up some, come on the camera. There we go. So, titanium Cerakote all around, cracking engraved on the watch. So you got titanium Cerakote all through, cracking engraved on the clasp. Same thing on the crown and on the coin bezel. And then I did a ceramic insert that uh, almost matches it perfect uh, with black accents. So obviously we've got the charcoal dial in there with C3 Super Luminova. Um, very well detailed. A buddy of mine used to make these dials. He moved, no longer has a shop. So I'm almost out of, I've got a, two more blacked out Kraken dials like this, but uh, these ones have all the index markers all the way around uh, in the top and a little bit more detail in the uh, tentacles. So that's his build as a whole, exhibition case back, black rotor in there, stainless steel movement holder. I did it more of a dress watch, so not off the wrist as high. Um, so going over it, these are head on with a tension ring. You can turn them this way, you can turn them that way. They do not click. Um, this is an automatic mechanical. You can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder. But how that works is you'll unscrew your crown. When it comes off the threads, you'll hear it clicking and you'll feel it clicking. At that point, you can wind it. Now a wind is that direction, but going backwards doesn't hurt it and it's a lot easier to keep spacing and just aggressively go back and forth. So if you do this for a few seconds before you wear it, even if you're not very active, you're not gonna lose any time. Uh, or if it's dead, make sure you do that before you put it on. You're not gonna be moving around enough for it to be keeping time. If you do it for something closer to 15, 20 seconds, you'll max out your 31 hour power reserve, but you cannot overwind it. So you can sit here and do this all day if you want. It will not hurt it. Hold out to the one and only click. You can now set your time. So it's not a hacking movement, so it's gonna keep running. And you'll notice you've got a wobble crown that's deflecting lateral pressure on the movement and not impacting it. Um, also makes it nice and easy to re-thread back on. But um, just put some tension on it, hold it out there as you're doing it. Okay, Google, what time is it? 4.23 p.m. 4. 23 p.m. So we're going to be stacking them up. All right, push it right back over. Thread it down. That is his build. Now, Lynn's got a little bit bigger of a wrist, so we made him a bigger bead set just in case he wants to wear beads this time. So, uh, that's his build. This one's going to come in a nice, it's like a nice darker gray, kind of like his watch. So, it matches it decently. Uh, every build comes with watch cleaner. Now, this is good on all glass metal parts. So, his whole watch. Um, let's see, he won't need leather conditioner, so he's got no leather there, but he will need some scratch remover and a microfiber. So this is an acrylic glass and you can scratch it, and if you do, just use a little bit of this. This is Novus 2 from Amazon, uh, put a little bit on there, go against the scratch, uh, filling that scratch and buffing it with your microfiber. Generate some heat with your thumb going back and forth and about 15 seconds later it should be perfectly gone. Only use what you need because you're only filling the scratch. The rest of it's going to be soaking into your microfiber and getting pushed all around uh, on the glass, possibly up under your bezel. So just use what you need and knock it out. It will be super, super slick when you're done. But that is his build. Hopefully Lynn loves it. Um, and just to show you what the loom looks like, because some people ask. 
There's his limb. Fancy. All right, guys. Thank you all for hanging out with me. If you want me to bug you something custom and unique, reach out. And um, I'll make you something cool. And uh, if you want to continue to see builds in real time, like and subscribe. As I build them all the time. Thanks for hanging out.